Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we're going to go over intermittent pilot ignition controls and how they work. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumperman Tech. These are two very common controls you will come across in the HVAC industry. Just a heads up, if anyone finds this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week, and let's get straight into it. Let's begin by going over this control here. This is made by UTEC, UT Electronic Controls. This is a intermittent pilot ignition control. This works off 24 volts alternating current, runs on 50 to 60 hertz, and let's go over our terminals. Let's go over what these actually stand for. So MV stands for main valve. MV slash PV is main valve slash pilot valve, but this is actually our common between these two. I'll explain later in detail. PV is our pilot valve. Here, there is nothing. 24 volts, this is gonna be our 24 volts coming in to the control, which is gonna be our call from the thermostat. And we have two grounds here. Ground for the burner, and this has to do with the flame rectification process, and 24 volts ground from our thermostat. Sense is gonna be our flame sensor, and spark is gonna be our spark igniter. So if you just follow the terminal, it matches up with our label. So this is gonna be our spark. Here, might be a little hard to see because of the video, but here is a terminal for our flame sensor and so forth. In some controls, you're also gonna see a damper option. It may be used, it may not be used, but if it is at the beginning when we get the call for heating, we're gonna send 24 volts through the damper so we can open up the damper with the motor and just allow the air to flow out of that duct and you just pretty much just follow the same sequence of operation. Only difference here is that we have only one terminal for both our spark and sense and unlike the other one where there's two but essentially it does the same thing. So what is an intermittent pilot ignition system? An intermittent pilot ignition system is an electronic system which uses an electrode to ignite the pilot gas. In turn, the pilot flame lights the main burner gas. The term intermittent is used because the pilot burner flame is only present when the main burner is operating. Let's now go over the sequence of operation for this ignition control. First things first, we're going to get a call from our thermostat. And the way that happens is by turning the thermostat to heat and setting the set temperature above the room temperature. From there, we're gonna get 24 volts sent over to our control. 24 volts will enter through here and complete through our circuit through here. So enter to 24V and then complete the circuit to 24V ground. Keep in mind there's two grounds, one for burner, one for our 24 volts. So 24 volts enters here completes the circuit here and now we have a complete circuit and 24 volts at our ignition control. From here two things are going to happen. The first thing is we're going to get 24 volts to PV which is our pilot valve and then it's going to complete the circuit through MVPV. This is our common for our PV and MV. So 24 volts enters and address the control. First thing that happens is we send 24 volts to PV, completes the circuit through MVPV, and this is gonna energize a small solenoid to allow gas to flow through the pilot tubing. The second thing that's gonna happen at the same time is that once this solenoid opens and opens that little bit of gas through the pilot tubing, now we're gonna try to ignite that gas. How does it ignite? using this spark wire. Even though this is a 24 volt control, you're gonna get 6,000 plus volts 
coming out of this terminal here and right at the pilot tubing where the gas comes out it's going to create a spark and it's going to try to ignite the gas from there we have to prove that we have a flame so here we have sense so we're actually going to have to prove that there is a flame coming at this area here where it sparks and the pilot tubing where those two meet we have to prove there is a flame so we have to sense there is a flame so the flame sensor will start to get hot and then it's going to make its way back once the flame is proven it's going to get proven back through this wire here our ground burner wire that's why it's very important to have a good ground not all these different rust spots so it's going to make its way back through this terminal here once that is proven that we have a flame we're now going to energize mv which is our main valve and it's going to come back through our common here so now this circuit is being completed this way and our main valve is now of course going to energize our gas valve another solenoid in the gas valve where a much larger amount of gas, gas is going to flow and from there we have fire one thing to note if you look closely we have a spark terminal and a sense terminal that means this here uses a flame sensor and we have the sparker if you look at the other control which i'll show in just a minute we only have one terminal if we look at the honeywell control we're going to notice it says spark slash sense and there's only one terminal so not only will this terminal spark and create your flame that same wire is going to have your sensor in it so it's going to make its way back to prove that we have a flame so you might have two different components or one without a doubt this is going to be tricky let's go over a quick recap thermostat calls for heating we're going to get 24 volts entering through here going to complete the circuit through 24 gnd and now we have 24 volts at the control at the same time two things are going to happen we're going to energize our pv so 24 volts is going to enter here make its way back to the common and at the same time that this is sending gas through the pilot tubing once we energize that solenoid now at the same time we're going to send high voltage through our spark wire which is now going to ignite the pilot tubing's gas from there we're going to have to sense that there is a flame and once we heat up this rod we're going to get a signal back through this wire and from there it's going to tell the control all right we have a flame and then it's going to open up your main valve and make its way back through here and let the amount of gas flow and create a flame if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as i come out with new videos every week and i'll catch you all next time